Congressman Matt Gates represents the state of Florida in the United States Congress, and we're happy to have him tonight. Congressman, thanks very much for coming on. So it's clear that in order to restore public faith in the most powerful institutions of government, we need to find out what happened here. Why don't we know? Well, one of the reasons is that we haven't had the Director of National Intelligence, Dan Coats, actually lay out for us what was in the transcripts taken by the House Intelligence Committee where they interviewed Clapper, where they interviewed Comey and McCabe and Brennan. And we ought to have that information. He's been sitting on it for four months, and we need to get it out. Fascinating. Wait, uh, I, I didn't know that, and I'm Over 50 transcripts have been voted out of the House Intelligence Committee to be declassified so that we can get to the bottom of where the lies existed and how this terrible investigation So why started. hasn't Coats made those public? For Four months, we're still waiting, but I think there's a bigger problem in the Congress. We have to be able to rely on the Intelligence Committee and the leadership of that committee because, as the American people know, every member of Congress does not see every piece of intelligence. Right. I have filed legislation today sent to the House that Adam Schiff needs to be removed from the Intelligence Committee because how are the rest of us supposed to be able to rely on a man who you just showed lied to the American people when he said that there wasn't spying or when he lied and said there was actual evidence of collusion or clear evidence of collusion. If Adam Schiff is able to review covert operations and intelligence and if we have to be able to rely on his representations, our whole system is broken. I mean, it would be like putting Lori Laughlin in charge of the College Board. It would would be like no, it's right. know, putting Jesse Smollett in charge of the hate crime division of the FBI. You know, we have got to remove Adam Schiff from the intelligence. In 35 Congress. years of watching Congress, I've never seen a member of Congress with lower personal integrity than Adam Schiff. And it's shocking to me that he chairs that committee. Is there any hope of unseating him from that? I think that Nancy Pelosi and just your rank-and-file Democrats have to feel the pressure from this. Their constituents have to ask them, how are you going to be able to make decisions in the best interest of our country and our district if it's Adam Schiff that you're listening to to get characterizations and representations on the quality of the intelligence and whether or not it should justify congressional action? I, I want to just explain to our viewers, we have on the screen the name of this act, the Pencil Act, Preventing Extreme Negligence with Classified Information information licenses. Um, For our favorite pencil, Tucker. That's exactly. <laughs> um, is there any, I mean, you, you stride the halls of Congress. Is there any Democrat who, behind the scenes, off the record, you don't need to reveal names, agrees with you that a, a, a committee this sensitive should not be chaired by someone like Adam Schiff? There are Democrats in Congress who feel betrayed because, like the rest of the country, there was, they were told that there was actual evidence of collusion, that this was going to happen. And a lot of those very Democrats went out on a limb in the campaign right. and promised their voters that this evidence would be turned up. Now we know the whole deal was fake. It was a lie. And really, I think a lot of the narrative has been a cover-up for the fact that under the Obama administration, our intelligence community got so politicized at the upper levels that they allowed political opposition research to justify something that should never happen in this country. And you're right, it should never happen from either side. But the only way we're going to be able to get to that solution set is if we actually reform this process that allows secret courts to be able to abridge our rights. And that's something that we sort of signed up for without thinking through it after 9-11, correct? Yeah, but I think we're going to be rethinking it. I think the I American so people too. want to know how we got here, and they want to make sure we're never here again. How could you have a secret court in a democracy? And you don't even know what the judges believe. They go through no public confirmation process, and the opinions are never made public. So even 20 years later, you're unable to ascertain what was the doctrine that was guiding the most powerful tools in our government to be turned against our citizens in the absence of the transparency that democracy requires. That is such a smart and true and good point, and I hope you will keep making it. Thank you very much. Thank you.